Americans were shocked when Princeton University hired Peter Singer and gave him an important position in bioethics at the university. Now here is a man who believes that personhood should be withheld until a child is 30 days old to make sure he or she measures up. Peter Singer has said, and he has his followers, that we not only can do abortions, but that we can't always pick up the, quote, bad ones before they're born. And so what we should do is have sort of a celebration when the baby is a month old. And we would gather together and we will have examined this child and will have said, well, uh, this kid doesn't measure up to our elitist standards of perfection, therefore we'll kill the child. But this one is a good one, so we'll let this one live. And he's suggesting that we have this ceremony at one month of age. Now this is terrible. This is Nazi stuff all over again, many times worse. Now you have these people coming forward saying, you know, birth is kind of an arbitrary point to cut off a woman's right to choose. Um, I think that parents should be allowed to have a few extra days. And now you ha we have a, a deposition from an abortionist here in our office who said that up to about a month, he wouldn't have any problem killing a baby outside the womb. So let's, let's let these babies go ahead and be born, let the parents look at them, bond with them or not bond with them, check them out, see if they're healthy. Um, you know, if you wanted a, a girl and it turns out to be a boy, then you can, you know, have the boy killed. Or uh, if you wanted one with blonde hair and it looks like it's going to have brown hair, or its eyes aren't blue or whatever, whatever the reason, let's give parents, and you have these guys out there openly saying, let's give parents the right to make a decision in the first 30 days of the, the baby outside the womb that they would have had the previous 30 days in the womb, when it was in the womb. Why cut it off at birth? And see, that is the, that's the salient point of this whole argument about abortion. The moment that you drift away from the position that a life begins at conception, then every other point is strictly arbitrary. For those who may find this talk of killing newborns hard to believe, consider this. On January 17, 2001, with just three days left in his administration, Bill Clinton signed a federal regulation which redefined all newborn children as, quote, fetuses. The law, when put into effect, would legalize the killing of selected newborns and allow their bodies to be used in scientific research. This is a tiny human, and from that very first cell stage, Abortion, by whatever technology or technique, kills a living human. Do we have the right to kill our brother, our sister, no matter how small or no matter how old they are? And those of us who are in the pro-life movement keep trying to say, no, you can't do this. When you kill the first one, you've started down a slippery slope. It will be an uphill fight to ban all abortion. We've had it too long, and people are adjusted to it that if I get pregnant, there's an answer. And uh, today we need to really roll up our sleeves and get involved to educate other people about what abortion really is, what it really does. Human life should have a price tag that is beyond value. And only when all of us are safe are all of us safe. But when you say this life has only a relative value and you hang a price tag on it and you say, but you can't kill this one for this reason, no longer is life an absolute value. No longer is it sacred and price tags get marked down. Over the past three decades since Roe v. Wade, abortion has really changed. It never stands still. It gets broader and broader. I remember the day that we reached 20 million babies aborted. And we were all appalled and just brokenhearted, 20 million. And then the number rose to 30 million. And now today, we're told it's over 40 million. Where will it all end? It will not end until you and I decide that this is enough. And we set out to educate our young girls, our young women, and our legislators 
that abortion is killing a baby. It's not a woman's choice, it's killing a baby. If left unabated, the grisly practice of cutting up and selling babies will continue. Human life will be cheapened, the Constitution's protection of life will be undermined, and human rights violations will grow. We need your help. Every one of us has to become a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. This is an issue about life. It's an issue about death. It concerns you, your family, your children, and your grandchildren. We all have a responsibility to educate ourselves, educate our families, educate our co-workers. We also have a responsibility to put pressure on the politicians in Washington, D.C., for them to stop the grisly practices that we've discussed in this video. We've given you the information. We've told you factually what's going on in America today. And the rest is up to you. <laughs>